Hello everyone. In the last video about how to reset and revive the Royal B batteries, we are talking about how to reset. But someone might say, after I reset it, I still can't charge. In this video, I will show you two ways how to charge use external the bench power source to charge the battery and the, from there we try to reset. If you can't reset, take a little bit deeper look at the control board and the battery cell. Let's start. I use the bench power supply and the hook up the positive to positive on the battery to the bench power supply and the negative to the negative from battery to the power supply here. And but you can't charge right now. You need to put the resistor. I use that 330 ohm the resistor bridge it from positive to T1 here. The T1 here. So I use this. You can see I hook up this and then I hook up this resistor. Right now, I started the output here. You can see right now they charge the Royal B batteries. I set it to the 41.8 and uh, the current is uh, only half amps. So you can see right now, the output, the power is 20 watt. So that's the one way you can use the bench power supply to charge the Royal B batteries. If you say, I don't have the resistors, how can I charge this battery? If you don't have the resistors, you can charge the battery. You have to open the lid, use the uh, battery positive and the battery negative to directly charge the battery cell. Let me show you. I open the lid and you can see this is the battery's the ground. It's a battery negative ground here. This is the battery positive that connected to this terminal. So this is the ground. I use the alligator to clamp this to charge this. Actually, if you charge in this way, you bypass the circuit board and uh, that means you bypass the uh, battery management system. And so you have to keep an eye on it and don't set up the very high charging current. Okay, let me hook it up. This is uh, the negative. So I hook up to the ground here. I hope that this, the positive, to the battery positive here. Hook up to here, that's also the positive. And then I turn off this power. And then hook up this. And then right now, I turn on the power. And uh, set up the output. You can see. That's directly charged, bypass battery management, the circuit. This is the second way you can charge the battery cell directly from the bench power supply. This is not bad, the bench power supply. If you want it, I put the link in the description below for your reference. If you measure the voltage between two points here, below 2.5, it's hardly to reset. You have to use previously discussed method to charge the battery first. Like this one, you can see 3.3. .3. That's good enough. For reset. Now you can use the jumper to reset the charging circuit. After you use above the method to charge the battery and reset, but no luck. It's not successful. And at this moment, you need to check two things carefully. First things to check, to see if there's any imbalanced battery cells. If one of the cells 
is noticeable below the rest of the battery. For example, here, the battery is a totally 10 battery cell. It's about 41 right now, 41.5. This photo show all the battery cell, the marine point. Uh, also take a look on the right hand side, they have a CFET and a DFET. That's a charging and the discharging field effect transistor. So if I measure the good battery, you will see this is a pretty close. The second one, so is a, almost a double. The third one here, so you can see, we'll add another 4.15. This one, well, 16 some, somewhere there, yeah. So is it is a five, you can see, is a 20, 75. Six, is a 24. Seven, 29, eight, 33, nine, 37, three, four, 10 here, it's a 41.5. So basically, 10 battery cell, pretty much similar. If one battery cell noticeably below the rest of them, the BMS, the battery management system, will not allow it to charge the batteries. In this case, you have to use the bench power supply to charge the battery cell individually to raise up the voltage. The other reason they can charge is there is control to most field effect transistor here. If one of them bad, especially they have one for charging, one for discharge. So if the charging is bad, you can charge the batteries. Usually you will see here, there is something burned or something wrong here. This is the Royal B battery. I can only charge directly to the battery cell. If you take a close look at the PCB board near the FET, there is a burning sign there. That's why even your charge is high enough to reset and you can't use charger to charge this battery. So that's the, most of the two reasons. After you reset, you raise up, you charge the battery, you still can't charge on the regular RLB charger. I hope with this and the previous video's knowledge, you can win the battle to revive the RLB batteries. If you like this video, please hit like button and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Thank you. See you next time.